I'm Ryan Charters. I'm a guitar maker in Kalamazoo, Michigan. I'm 30 years old and I've been working professionally as a guitar maker since I was 19, starting in a Wechter shop out in Paw Paw, Michigan. I worked at Heritage Guitars for a year. It was really interesting. There hasn't been a whole lot of technology introduced into that atmosphere, and so you really got to uh, see the hands work, um, lots of tools, in many ways more authentic to the ways guitars were made back in the 60s and 50s. Well, Kalamazoo is a great place to be a guitar maker. There's a lot of history here and as well as a lot of local hardwoods that have been used on um, countless number of Gibson guitars through the years and uh, and that's what I use today, uh, particularly Michigan maple, um, as well as walnut and cherry also make very good town woods. Um, the uh, amount of knowledge that was um, around in the area when Gibson was working was just very centralized and a lot of those guys are still around today, still working on guitars and uh, luckily for me I was available to uh, soak up some knowledge from them and uh, apply it to what I'm doing today. Um, repair work is incredibly important to guitar making. I spend quite a deal of time repairing old guitars and it's very interesting to see how a guitar will change over time and notice the problem areas that arise so that when I'm building I can prevent those before they happen. I bought this guitar because I knew Rye had made it and I'm familiar with his work and uh, what I really like about the guitar is uh, its appearance, number one, and then the way it sounds. It's a well-balanced guitar in terms of uh, up and down the neck, everything sounds good and across the strings it's all well-balanced. It's not, you know, more bass than treble and that kind of stuff. tone primarily comes from, besides nice tight glue joints and bracing and everything, uh, once that top is on there, sanding the edges around where it you know, meets the rim of the body thin enough so that it's acting as a speaker for the most part. A speaker is really thin around the edges and that's what enables it to push and really drive it. And so, you know, after doing you know, hundreds of these things, you just kind of find out what works. And you uh, flex the top and you can tell if that's moving the correct amount or not, sand a little bit more. And, uh, and to an extent, the same is done with the back, too. And it's pretty all the way around, if you take a look at it. Uh, the back is just gorgeous, the bindings are gorgeous. Uh, the neck is nicely done, and I also like the slot of neck at this first guitar I own that has that. Yeah, Alright, I think I'm going to take it home.